all right my people welcome back onto this channel thanks so much for subscribing to this channel our prayer has been that the good lord will continue to support you all in all your endeavors as you keep supporting this channel we say very big amen to that hmm all right my people this is another one reaching us right now hmm tinumbu will win in 2023 but his victory will be like that of abiola who never ruled hmm this had been said by prophet ulujobi all right my people the news in details well unto this the presiding pastor of wisdom church of christ international in Ketu Lagos state prophet ulujobi has said that the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, will emerge victorious in the 2023 presidential election. Well, according to him, the man of God said that Tinumbu's enemies will use his weakness against him and then that his case will be like that of MKO Abiola who contested the 1993 presidential election Awolowo and then Yaradua. According to Olujobi in Ashua Jutinumbu's case, he will clinch the 2023 presidential seat, but the enemies within will use his weakness against him. His case again will turn out like that of Awulawo, Abiola, and then Yaradua, who was elected but never ruled, except he prays very well. Meanwhile, Prophet Ulujobi also said that God told him every agitation should sees now as he god wants to move through the country within the shortest period of time recall that the 1993 recall that the 1993 presidential election which was believed to be free and fair was cancelled and then mko abiola of the xdp later declared himself president of nigeria he was arrested and detained and then before his release mk habiola died that is why june 12 was declared as democracy day to honor him all right my people and then this is exactly what we are talking about oh hmm. well though a lot of clergymen had said earlier before now that hmm, if Bola Metinumbu likes himself. He should not even bother, no contesting or no trying to say he want to take any flag for 2023 because right now hmm, it's it's calling. Hmm. All right, his calling is not to become the president, but to you no know, push people to become the president. Well, a lot of things were said before now. We all heard for ourselves if you have been following the news and then as it stands, no majority of people have been like, wow, Bola Metunumbu, what exactly is the issue with you? You have everything it takes to be there. You have everything it takes to you know to be yourself. You have made money. No, quite fine. We know you, you know you are capable, like you have rightly said before now that you are capable, that you know the game. And the meanwhile, you still need to take care of yourself. Well, it shouldn't be a thing of do or die. A lot of things were actually said, but Bola Metinumbu remains adamant. Well, the prayer of the people had been that no, let him get there. While some set of people are like Bola Metunumbu should just go and relax and take care of his health. And then we've heard things like this before. And then somebody was like, hmm, are you sure these um, Fulani people that have been shouting, hey, uh, Bola Metunumbu is the man? Are you sure they don't have plans? Hmm. A lot of you no know, things were actually said before now that somebody like Bola Metunumbu, that the people will push him. They will say, oh, the northerners will want to say, oh, let him get there. Provided when he gets there, we know what to do. Well, we pray that if that wouldn't be is no portion because right now, no, the negative side of it had been viral, and the majority of people are like, hmm, we pray he survives this after 
if at all eventual wins because no Bola Metonobo had been a man that majority of people have said no he never lost election fine if he wins and then can he be able to rule and then that's exactly what majority of clergymen are saying that we we get there but hmm, we pray that you last on that seat and that's exactly the worries of the people because right now if a you know a northern becomes or a northern happens to be his running mate and if the president is no more you no know, that is automatically the vice will take over i think that's how it is and at this time around we are praying that hmm, this should not be the case or this should not be the reason why the northerners are screaming yeah chenumbu is our man hmm, my brother my sister let us have everything well according to this prophet olujobi has said that well very soon very soon well if at all hmm, he becomes the president or he wins hmm. but his victory will still be like that of abiola who never rule okay well that's another one we are getting right now well meanwhile a lot of people are still like as far as the movement is concerned somebody like bola may you know, should just try as much as possible to relax he has made all the money. We don't know what he's looking for. <laughs> he has made everything he needs to make. We don't know what he's looking for. And again, because right now, even the Yoruba people are not in support. Though some few are in support, but I think the majority of the Yorubas are not in support. Then talking about the Yoruba nation agitators, simply because they, ha they are saying what is going to happen. Well, they are saying that no matter what, hmm, Nigeria can never change for better. Yes, yeah, so... Hmm, because the Fulanese, they have plans. They have said that hmm, they are born to rule. And that's exactly the worries of the people. We cannot blame them. And then, can you blame anyone? Exactly what it is. We cannot blame them because they have planned. They have arranged themselves. They have made up their minds to rule. And they have said it times with that number that they are born to rule. Well, we pray that no problem will not emerge in Lagos State. We pray that there won't be any problem in Nigeria. Well, according to Tony Afolabi on this one, she says, I love Tinumbu as a person, but I don't want him for a president. Peter Obi is the man that will take us to the next level. Hmm. Well, this matter of Peter Obi, a lot of people are like, Peter Obi is the best and they uh, you know, I think you no, know, we should just give it out and then let's see what happens. Because right now, majority of people left, right and center have been you know, mentioning the name of Peter Obi and a lot of them call it obedience and all that that we need to obey the call. Well, the truth of the matter is everyone wants the best and then let's see what you no know, turn out, how it turns how it's going to turn out to be, so to say. But the truth of the matter is let everyone be prayerful because as far as this country is concerned right now hmm, everybody is not happy with the situation on ground and they will just have to tell ourselves the truth we need prayers and they will need action well my people this is exactly what it is right now on this one what more can we say me well let me have your own take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel all right thanks and god bless